everyone, your friendly neighborhood cat is back with another house building video. I feel like, like, my roommate's dog is cuddling up next to me because I'm just laying in bed being really lazy today. Um, but when I started recording this, she, I actually, like, frightened her, so I don't know if I said that really loud or she's just, like, not used to me recording. But <laughs> anyways, um, aside from that, today we are going to be building a vampire mansion. So I know it's been, like kind of a while since I've been on my channel, or it feels like it. Um, this build, I honestly started when the vampire expansion ca pack came out, and then I just never finished it. So, now I finally got around to finishing it, so congratulations for me. Um, normally I wouldn't upload a mansion build because it's 30 minutes of talking, and we all know I don't really like talking for 30 minutes. Um, it was actually kind of funny because I pretty much had to talk for 30 minutes straight because we had like a hiring fair at my work. Um, so I was explaining people to people this task that they had to finish and I like lost my voice and it was just like so repetitive. I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I'm going to get through this. I'm going to have a voice crack or something embarrassing. I don't know. It was just hilarious. Like this is my life. Um, but yeah, so I had a hard time doing the roofing in this house and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, the end of this video, I wasn't happy with how the roof turned out, but I didn't want to record any more of me, like, messing around with the roofing, so I just went ahead and did it, and, um, I think, yeah, I did it before I took the screenshots, so you'll notice in the screenshots that the roofing is a little bit different, and it looks so much better, like, such a huge difference, um, but yeah, I, I just had such a hard time, like, I, I don't know... I just, the roofing in this game is just something that gets me every time. I can never get it right. Um, yeah, like, I, I don't know if I need to, like, study roofing more, like, when I'm doing mansions and stuff like that. Um, I really like the roof that I did on a house that I'm actually going to be uploading tomorrow. It's a way shorter video tomorrow. I think it's only, like, ten minutes or less. Um, it only took me, like, an hour to build it. Um, but yeah, the video I'm uploading tomorrow, I really like the way the roof looks, but it's so simple, so you guys are gonna laugh if you watch this video and then watch that video. Um, but of course, if you aren't watching them consecutively, then you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, like, we're already two and a half minutes into this video, and I haven't even finished doing the roofing. Like, that's how long it took me. And I feel like in mansions, it just, like, takes even longer. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys would rather me just not record doing roofing, or if you like it when I do roofing in the video. Um, just let me know what you guys think, because I can always just cut this out. I just, I know some people like seeing how roofing is done. Um... I mean, there is some cool techniques that I used in this, but it just took so long, so I feel kind of bad. Um, but of course, you can always skip ahead, too, if you don't like watching the roofing. Um, I'm not really sure when this ends, but yeah, you can just keep skipping. I'm not going to get offended. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like looking back at all the videos that I've previously done and seeing like the different builds that I've created. It's really fun for me to like look how at how far I've like come. Um, and I remember someone commented on my videos and they said that they love watching small YouTubers because, um, it's cool to see them develop and yeah, I feel like I've developed so much since I started my channel and it's just been over a year, um, since I started. So I'm, I'm very excited to see where this takes me. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of really enjoying it, um, for now. I recently got another job and this is gonna be kind of funny to you guys um because we all know how much like I don't like talking for long periods of time but I'm actually doing speech therapy um so I've been teaching speech therapy to this person um who had a stroke and lost the ability to talk so I've been doing that as a second job so today's technically my day off but I'm still going to do that after this um so I was like you know what I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do some recording and record a video um, do the voiceover for my video. Um, I literally just finished this build, like, two days ago or something like that, so I've been working on it for months now, but I feel like sometimes, I don't know if it's because I lose motivation or what it is, but it just is better if I, um, basically if I stop for a bit, like, take a couple days off building something, or even a week or a month, and then come back to it, because I feel like I implement the same techniques, especially when I'm furnishing rooms for bigger houses. 
Um, and it just, I just never am happy with the final results. I feel like I use the same thing over and over again. But then, like, on the other hand, if I wait too long and I come back to it, then I just have such a different mindset than when I did the build. So I chain, end up changing a lot of things. So I don't really know what the best way to do it is. I'm still kind of figuring that out. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just lose, like, momentum and then I have to, like, take a break from building something and then come back to it. But, I don't know. I really want to move, like, the Goths, um, their house and their family into this neighborhood, too. I feel like they just fit in really well. Um, and, I, I don't know, I'd like to play them and just, like, see their progression, like, in their own story. And I feel like I want them to have, like, more children. There might be, like, a reason why they don't have, um, many kids, but, yeah. I also have been playing, um, The Sims Free Play, I think it's called. Yeah, The Sims Free Play on my phone. And I forgot, like, the the thing I don't like about that game. Now, I've heard that they're coming out with a new Sims game, which I'm really excited for, for mobile, um, like, for cell phones. But the thing I don't like about that game is it takes so long to gain money. Like, I'm definitely one of those people who, like, cheats my way through The Sims. Um, I don't like to wait a long time to get money. So, yeah, I feel like I'm one of those people that plays The Sims and just kind of uses cheat codes. Which, I mean, if you're not, that's all fine and good. But I just wish that there was a way to make money faster in that game without, like, using cheat codes, obviously. Because I'm not gonna, like, jailbreak my phone or anything. But I just feel like sometimes it just... I'll send my sims to work for so long and they will come back with no money and it's just so boring like it just gets really like old and boring after a while so I don't know maybe I'm playing it wrong I'll have to read up on it again I've been playing it like it's probably been I think it said somewhere around like 300 days like so almost a year since I've played that game or maybe it was like yeah no 300 300 years 300 days since I've um been into that game so I don't know I just yeah I, I I just it's just boring it's just kind of boring um but yeah one thing I really appreciate about the sims 4 though um like and something that I'm so appreciative is the building tool where you can resize rooms really super easy um because I feel like doing this build would have been so much harder in the sims 2 especially the sims 2 um but even the sims 3 um because I did do a lot of resizing um which you'll notice later on in the build just of the roofing and it made it so much easier having that resizing tool so good for them doing that I honestly don't see us ever getting terrain tools and at this rate where the heck is pets like oh my gosh I've been waiting so long it feels like like, I just want to have so many pets, like, now, if my boyfriend let me in real life, and I only say let me because he also lives with me and helps me take care of the pets, so it's not like I need his permission, like, if I really wanted to, I could go get pets, but I, I just like to ask his opinion on things, um, because honestly, sometimes if I see something really cute, like a really cute animal, I'll just go get it, and I won't even think about how much work it's gonna be, and yeah, which, like, happened with, like, my guinea pigs and my hedgehog. I was just like, oh, they're so cute. I want them, so I got them, and, like, they were a lot of work. Now, I love them more than anything. I would never, ever give them away. Um, they just honestly, like, make my day so much better. I truly, truly love them, but I feel like sometimes I don't think about how much it takes to take care of an animal. Like, I mean, if you guys watch Taylor Nicole Dean, which I, I love her channel. I just think she's a really cool person. Um, so I watch her every once in a while and she, that's like her full-time job is taking care of all those animals. Now, if I had time to do that, I totally, totally would. That is like my dream, but why not just bring it to the Sims so that I can live my dream in real life? Oh, it's just like, it's a rough life. Let me tell you. Um, I'm glad with how the basement turned out in this house, too. I think it's kind of cute. Um, this house is inspired by the House of the Fallen Leaves, I think it's called. Something like that. Oh, a nice little pause here. Guaranteed, I was trying to look up cheats for the game. I just stuttered a little bit there. Um, but yeah, I, um, I think I, it's either on the gallery. I don't think I ever built it 
like in a speed build um but it's literally my favorite house in the entire sim series um the house of the fallen leaves i think that's what it's called i think so um but i oh it was was it sims 2 or sims 3 i think sims 2 and nightlife it could have been sims 3 though i don't actually remember um but one of those games um had the house of the fallen leaves in the nightlife um city so that's definitely one of my favorites um you know what i was just about to say i was just about to be like i wish we had apartments in the sims 4 but we do um they just are obviously a little tiny bit different than they used to be um but i actually like the way that they are i just haven't got to play around with the gameplay all that much now that i think about it um sometimes i forget about the expansion packs that they've came out with i think i like, I'm missing two now, because I didn't get the parenting one yet, like, I haven't downloaded that, I just honestly don't have the money for that right now, I need to save money, um, A, because I want to buy a house, B, because I need a new computer, C, because I want a new camera, and D, because I want to go to Mexico, so there's so many things that I need to save money for, so I just can't bring myself to buy more expansion packs at this moment. I'll probably end up selling, like, some more of my tea collection, um, because that's usually how I buy expansion packs, is I sell a lot of the stuff that I've collected, um, because I feel like it helps me keep decluttered, um, but yeah, I think I might just do that and then see how that goes. I'm really happy with how the basement in this house turned out. Um, if you watch my Sweeney Todd build, I did a, um, like, sewer, sewage area, sewer, um, underground sewer this way. So you get a pool, like, the idea of a pool, but it's a lot different, um, so yeah, I really like how this basement turned out. But yeah, um, expansion packs wise, I still don't have the parenting one or is it workout? I think is the new one which they have like that really cool um rock climbing wall and I just saw an ad online where you can there's like this place I can't remember where it was but you can actually go and use those rock climbing walls like they exist in real life like they're rotating rock climbing walls I might have saw it I don't know I can't remember where I saw it it may have been on like a Facebook thread somewhere um that I saw this but yeah they actually exist in real life so I thought that was really cool um and yeah, just kind of getting in some really nice details in this basement area. I can't believe I've already been talking for 12 minutes. Like, I feel like sometimes when I wait a really long time to film a video, I have so much to tell you guys and so much to talk about. So it doesn't actually take as much out of me as like if I'm like filming a video every day. But um, of course, I'm pre-recording this and then this is going to be Monday by the time I record it. So let me know in the comment section down below how your guys' Monday is going. Um, I think I actually have Monday off, so technically it's my Friday, even though yesterday was also my Friday. But, like, I work a really weird schedule, so I have a lot of Fridays in the week. Well, like, two Fridays, because I get, like, days off, but they're not ever together, so they're really spread out. Um, and yeah, I work all weekend, so, but next weekend I have Sunday off, which I'm really excited about because I think I might go camping or something that Saturday. Who knows? I might do for something fun, though, is what I'm getting at. Um, ooh, I just got a notification on my phone that Graveyard Girl just uploaded a video, so I'm really excited to go watch that. Um, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, so really excited to watch that. Um, I feel like... All of, like, the Sims YouTubers that I usually watch haven't been uploading that much lately, and it makes me disappointed, and maybe the people that watch my videos get disappointed when I don't upload very often, but, like, yeah, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm being a hypocrite, but, like, I get so disappointed because I just want to watch their videos, and I get so excited for their next one, um... And, yeah, I feel like the Sims YouTubers that I've been watching haven't been doing many, like, speed builds. And speed builds are the only things that I really watch because I don't really play the game much. My computer is really slow, which is also why I don't do real-time um, builds, like, speed builds. Um, Yeah, my computer is just, like, literally deathly slow. Like, it's a MacBook, and it's a brand new one. Like, I've only had it for a year, not even. But, I mean... MacBooks and Macs in general aren't the best computers to play video games on, which I know, and I knew that going into it, but I honestly thought that it would still be able to run The Sims, like, fine. Like, I asked the people at the Apple store if it would be able to, and they're like, yeah, no problem. And, I mean, I guess I probably shouldn't be, like, trusting a salesman with this kind of stuff, but anyways, I did, and I fucked up because, yeah, it's actually, like, really 
slow running. Um, but I've also talked to people and like, I to- asked someone one time, I was like, hey, like I want, ooh, I really like that flooring. I hope I left that flooring in. I think I did, but I don't know. Um, but I went to a, I think Best Buy or something. Cause I don't really know a ton about computers either. Like I'm just not super like savvy in that I just like if someone could build me a computer and I could just like tell them what I need exactly and they were able to build it for me and give me like a solid price at what it would cost that would be incredible um because I just don't really know that much about computers but I asked someone I was like I want a laptop that is able to run like every sims expansion and he straight up told me he's like I don't think that's possible like that game is so big and I was like okay like cool so I guess it's like a pipe dream for me to want to be able to play the sims on a laptop um but one day I'll have to get a desktop computer because I could still play it on my laptop like I can still have it downloaded and play it um when I want to but it would be nice to have like a good computer at home that I can actually like play the sims fast and like efficiently on so hopefully I'll get a new computer one of these days but I would like to buy a house like within a year so I think we're going to buy a house next summer so I'll probably have to wait a bit before getting a new computer um yeah, and I kind of want to go to Disneyland and Mexico. Like, I just have so many expectations right now. But traveling is definitely number one on my list Um, because I do have a camera and it's fine. Like, it takes really good photos and it's waterproof. So if I did want to go on a vacation um, and go scuba diving or something, I could take that camera with me. So it's not a huge necessity to get a new camera, nor is it a necessity to get a new computer because my computer still runs The Sims and I can still record and do everything that I need to. It's just really slow um, and like really laggy. So sometimes I'm not very motivated to get things done. Um, I remember at one point my computer was so laggy and I would still play The Sims. And then when I upgraded computers, it was literally like a whole new world. Like, you know, like that song, like a whole new world. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, it was a whole new world. It was so fast and I was just amazed. So can't wait to get a new computer so that I can feel that same, like, kind of amazed feeling like, oh my gosh, this is so much faster than I'm used to. Like I used to play on such a laggy computer that water didn't show up blue. It showed up red. Like that is how laggy my computer was. So that should give you guys a little bit of an idea of my struggles of being a like not rich and b just not really having yeah like not really having a good computer ever I always just kind of played with what I had um and when I was like 10 when I first like I don't know maybe I played the sims before I was 10 I can't actually remember when I started playing but um I remember having it Actually, no, that's a lie. I played it before I was 10. I don't know. When did The Sims come out? Like, the year it came out is the first year I was playing it, but I was so young that I just kind of played it with, like, I don't know, my family members, like my cousins, or, like, watched my mom play it because my mom did play The Sims at one point. Um, I think I was, like, five or six when The Sims first came out, which, um, like, I mean... You know what's going on, but you don't really understand it, so I can't really say that I've been playing The Sims since then because I didn't really, like, understand it, but I'd say, like, consistently, like, playing The Sims, understanding it, like, definitely was the GameCube Sims was, like, the first Sims game for me, which, I don't know, maybe I was 10. I'm not good at timelines, (laughs) like, at all, so bear with me, but yeah, I remember how lit the sims was i think it was for gamecube where there was like that one like the story mode like i miss story mode like i love linear games and as you guys know if you've watched other videos of mine i love the sims castaway and i have been looking for a copy of that in my town for so long but i might just have to buy it on ebay because i loved loved the sims castaway stories it is by far my favorite favorite sims game um also when i was a kid like castaway was my favorite movie of all time um but the sims castaway stories is so good oh speaking of which i've been reading um robinson crusoe by i can't remember his first name but his last name is defoe um it's a classic book but you guys should read it if you like Castaway and that kind of stuff, um, and like pirates and those kind of things. Go read that book. It's like, it's an older book, so it is a little bit harder to read, but 
It's really good. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, The Sims Castaway. I loved how linear the story modes used to be in The Sims. But for GameCube, they had the one where you would, like, move from house to house. And I remember the one house had, like, an Asian pattern, like, wallpaper um, and, like, bamboo-ish wallpaper. And I just, I, I really loved that. And I, there was, like, aliens and stuff. Oh, I have so many good memories playing that. And I remember a couple of years ago, um, actually more than a couple, like maybe seven years ago now. Um, I can't believe it's been seven years, but well, I think it's been seven years, something like that. Um, my parents got a projector and I got to play the Sims on projector and it was so freaking cool. Like I would play Sims on Wii using the projector all the time and oh, just so much fun. I should actually find my old Wii and get some GameCube games, because of course I got a Wii U, um, which I do use quite often, but I actually had to ship it to Nintendo, and this has happened with my Xbox and my Wii, I've, like, I don't know, I have really bad luck, but they fixed it so fast, like, Nintendo is amazing, they are such a good company, and same with Xbox, they were so patient with me, and I had no idea what I was doing, I'm so bad with technology, um, but yeah, they were so patient with me while fixing my Xbox, um, but anyways, um, yeah, Nintendo is such a good company, like, they got it fixed, like, I shipped it to them, and they shipped it back to me fixed within, like, I, I don't even know how long, like, maybe, mm, I'd say it probably took them around, like, a year, a year, not a year, not a year, sorry, I was thinking, like, how long ago I got this, um, but it probably took them about three days. Yeah, three days from, like, I shipped it in the morning on the first day, and it came back to me the third, like, the third night I got the notification that it was in my, at my post office. So that was pretty amazing. They are so good. They fixed it. Um, It wasn't reading any discs, and, like, of course they have to ask you if your discs are scratched, because I'm sure people, like, send them scratched discs. So I sent them all the games that I had, um so that they could try the games to make sure, like, it wasn't my games, which I knew it wasn't because they were brand new games. Like, some of these games were never even used, um, so I knew it wasn't that, but yeah, it just wasn't reading properly, so, but they fixed it all up for me, which was really nice of them, um, free of charge, of course, and they even covered shipping, which was cool, um, so yeah, shout out to Nintendo for being incredible and by far one of my favorite video game companies, so... And Xbox, too. Like, I used to have a PlayStation when I was younger, but I haven't had one recently, so maybe one day, but you guys know my list of wants is, like, huge, so I've literally been working so fucking much right now just so that I can, like, save money, um, and honestly, I feel like I probably am not even gonna buy anybody anything for Christmas because there's just so many things that I need, and I just, I feel like Christmas every year is just so over the top, and yeah, it just would be nice to, like, just sit back and relax and enjoy the feel of Christmas versus, like, just giving presents. Like, me and my boyfriend will probably do presents back and forth, but that will probably be it, I want to say, um, because every year Christmas is just so wacky and, like, out of control for us, so I'd like to just have a small, like, loving Christmas where we just get, like, small gifts for people, nothing, like, expensive, like, don't splurge a lot, just find really neat things, um, so I'd really like to do that this year, so hoping that that, um, pans out for us, I think, yeah, like, I have a couple good ideas on what I'm going to make or give people, so I think everybody will be super appreciative when they get their gifts, um, they usually are, so, but yeah, we really want to save money. There's so many things that we want. And of course, we want to buy a house. Um, it would just be nice to have our own house. And we have people that we can rent it out to so we can still travel because that's really important to us. Um, but it just kind of sucks renting a house and traveling because paying rent and traveling is just horrible. And yeah, if we could rent out part of our house um, and then have our mortgage paid for, that would be awesome so that we could go and live in other places too and still have a house here for when we come and visit um because it is nice to visit and stay with family but it's just a lot nicer to have your own space so I'm like I, I've always wanted to build my dream house in the sims but my dream house is constantly changing so I just build them all the time um 
I remember, though, when The Sims... Again, with Sims Castaway, sorry, guys. When it came out, and, like, the penguins, you could, like, befriend them and stuff, and I love that. And then, too, like, my my dream, dream house was in that game, and I just always think about it. Just, I, I just miss it so much. Um, I miss our color wheel, though. Speaking of which, like, oh my gosh, I miss that so much. Um... I wonder how much I spent on this house. Because I can see, like, in the bottom left-hand corner the amount of money that I had. But I think I just kept using cheat codes to get more money. Because I was playing, like, I was building in live mode, if that makes sense. So. But I only have six minutes of recording left. That's how I know, like, it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Because I feel like I've been talking a lot. But my voice is, like, fine. Like, it's a little sore. I'm not gonna lie. But it's fine for the most part. I should probably do like a monthly favorite soon to you on my other channel because I have so many things that I want to share with you guys that I've really been liking. Um, yeah, like there's just so many things that I could talk to you guys about for like hours and days and my little doggie is just snoring away. She's having a bad dream. Do you guys wake your dogs up when they have bad dreams? Because I wake her up when she is like it just... I don't know, like, her little foot's going, and she looks like she's, like, air running right now. It's really cute, but I don't like it when they have bad dreams, because I feel like if someone knew that I was having a bad dream, I would want them to wake me up, so I just always like to wake them up, but then I'm like, is it a good dream? Is it a bad dream? Because, like, I've cried in good dreams before from, like, being so happy, so, but that's usually when I'm, like, drowning in a puddle of dogs. Oh my gosh, speaking of which, I, it was my friend's birthday, so we went out to the cabin, and, um, there were so many dogs, and our one friend brought a puppy, and it was the cutest thing in the entire world. Um, I'd say I'd post it to Instagram, but usually I just kind of post to Snapchat. Um, I don't post, like, a, a ton to my Instagram. I really like to post, like, I don't know, things that make me happy on Instagram, which obviously this puppy does. Um, but I think I just posted that to Snapchat, not Instagram, so. But if you guys did want to see that, you could check out my Snapchat, um, which obviously is linked at the end of this video and here's me messing around with the roofing some more and I think I like do the garden and then I just kind of gave up but I did mess around with it after this video um like after I was done recording the um speed build for the video so um it is in the screenshots which is nice I love dogs she's like laying on her back right now and I'm just rubbing her tummy and she's just loving it Dogs are, like, I don't know what humans did to deserve dogs. Oh, yeah, another thing. I left the, um, the attic of this build empty so that you guys can fill it with whatever you'd like. So, that's cool. She's got, like, a little knobby knee. Oh, mm, I don't know what happened there. Um, do you guys ever do that where you accidentally press a button in The Sims and you get sent, like, flying across the map? That literally happens to me all the time. Um, I think I had a hard time moving this house around, so... And trying to find that cheat code where you unlock all the hidden objects. I think it's literally, like, that's basically the cheat code. Um, but I couldn't figure it out. So, you guys see me. You guys will see me struggle with that a bit here. Um, and yeah, I did do a lot of decorating. I've learned that decorating the outside of houses is just as important as decorating the inside. Because that is the first opinion people will have when they see your house. Um, I've also been trying to practice with more terrain tools lately. Um, ooh, I think I forgot a garbage bin. Yeah, I probably did. That's, like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure everyone does that. Like, all YouTubers that play The Sims forget the garbage bin all the time. At least, like, the ones that I watch always forget the garbage bin. Um, so it's a normal thing, you guys, I promise. But my face feels so good. I used, like, this fresh face mask. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. Um, anyways, back to the build versus talking about my skin, because I'm sure you guys don't, um, give a crap about that. Ooh, I still have three minutes of talking left, and I'm almost out of topics to talk about. Um, I love the vines and stuff that came with this expansion pack, though. It's, this is kind of, like, the first time that I've used, like, everything from build mode for it. Um, but yeah, I love the vines and plants and things, um... And this is when I was, like, trying to find, like, the cheat code for hidden objects. And, yeah, and then I figured it out, like, right about here. So, yep, there's me, yeah, struggling. I'm not a very good typer, as you guys could probably tell. And I didn't, I thought there was more tombstones than just two. Maybe there is, and I just couldn't find them. 
Um, but I found the vampire one, and I found two, like, regular ones. So I decided to put some tombstones out there, um, just to decorate it a bit more. And this is me playing around with the roofing a little bit, but I'm pretty sure, like, I finish it, and I only put it in the screenshots, and I didn't record it, so. Sorry! Um, did I even put screenshots in this build? Like, this seems like a lot, and no screenshots. I, I must have. Anyways, the screenshots will be in the end of the video by the time you guys watch this. Um, but I just don't know. I, I mean, I must have. Like, because I'm pretty sure I finished everything. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm on drugs. I don't know. Um, yeah, like, I, I hope. I hope I put them in. Anyways, but like I said before, you guys will see the screenshots regardless because I'll probably just put them in after recording the voice of this. Um yeah just putting in the final touches I guess and fixing the roof a bit because somehow it got messed up I think that happened when I moved the house around on the property um and putting in some more vines and things and there's the mailbox um and yeah I forgot the garbage can oh and I did remember screenshots whoop whoop um anyways guys thank you so much for watching and like always I will see you guys all next time Bye, guys.